In the early 90s, the Bloods and Crips came together in Los Angeles and created an album called Banging on Wax. And one of the songs on that album was called Crippin' Ain't Easy. And to kind of let you know what the hook was, the hook is this. Crippin' ain't easy, but it sure is fun. And I thought about that in preparing for this video about the Passport Bros. Being a Passport Bro isn't easy, but it sure is fun. As depicted in this photo that you see before me, here we have a dapper black man with all of these haters upset that he's going. Black women, kids, and everybody else is upset that he is exploring his options. And of course, the Passport Bros get hate in America. In videos like this, pretty much signify the hatred towards them. All right, Passport Bros, step into my office real quick. Listen, I know that most of you guys have Peter Pan syndrome and y'all really don't want to grow up. And you guys like to live in this world of delusion. But here's a news flash for you fellas. The women are not mad that you guys are going overseas and basically participating in prostitution. What sisters are irritated about is that you go overseas and trick your money off and you're coming back home harassing sisters and telling them that they're undesirable. These women don't really care that y'all are going overseas and basically being tricks and simps because y'all aren't desirable anyway. Most men who participate in the passport movement are undesirable. I know y'all gonna come on here trolling me mad, but facts are facts. So let's stop these false narratives in 2023. Let's go back to that picture. You see this man looks like the future is bright and where he's going, it's a lot of opportunity. And of course, it could be a lot of opportunity, but also where you're going, people are looking to use you, it's very possible. You see, when you come out of your house every day or you're walking around every day, you don't know who's watching you and you don't know who wants to set you up. What do I mean? Well, on the flip side in America, you're hated because you want women to be more submissive and that you wanna leave. But when you get there, you're hated that you have more money and a lot of the local women would wanna talk to you. On either side of the fence, somebody dislikes you. And because of that, we've had eight passport bros killed in Colombia in the past three months. I want to take this time to honor them as many of them have lost their life looking for a better way in other countries. But of course, before we get into that, the story that really got all of this bubbling for me was in 2022, we lost Timothy Revel Reed. He was a man that decided to go from Atlanta to Barranquilla, Colombia. Well, and of course, this is what happened. I did it, I did it, I did it. I have my apartment my restaurant and two other apartments in a great location for the restaurant on a very busy, busy busy street we got one thing well several things accomplished now it's the next move is to um, open a restaurant so hopefully that will happen very shortly um, Get ready for cute spicy ribs and fish. As you can see, I am tired. It was a stress, y'all. I'm not gonna even lie. It was very stressful. Uh, the language barrier. Um, he don't trust me. I don't trust him. But I mean, I had more trust in him because I gave him all my money. Uh, but he was, you know, looking to see. What it was real. I mean, it was just, just, just too much. Just too much. Had to get his family members out of the apartment. Still got to get the one upstairs out the apartment. That story right there really caught my attention about what could happen to you in Colombia. But then there is 59-year-old Gregory Stewart Owens. He was gunned down in Cartagena during a robbery attempt in October 2023. But then there's this young man, Johnny Jerome. He was only 45. He was found dead in a jacuzzi in a luxury suite in Medellin, November the 2nd. He was killed the day after celebrating his birthday with a cousin and two women he met on a dating app. Stop the show. Let's talk about these dating apps. It's getting so bad that the United States government has said this to Americans using dating apps in Colombia. 
warning for people using dating apps in Colombia. Apps are being linked to the recent deaths of several Americans visiting the country. Let's unpack this. In the last two months, eight American tourists have died suspiciously in the Colombian city of Medellin. The US Embassy in Bogota have said some of these victims were drugged and robbed after meeting people on dating apps. Criminals use dating apps to lure victims to meet in public places such as hotels, restaurants and bars and then later assault and rob them, they said. The embassy has also said that this is part of a broader trend and that there has been an increase in incidents involving the use of online dating apps to lure victims, especially foreigners. They didn't disclose which specific apps. They have encouraged visitors to be vigilant and to maintain heightened situational awareness. And it goes back to my point of the crime being targeted towards passport bros when they come to Colombia. And this was very summed up by a good YouTuber called Life with David about how American men are being targeted. It's a very profitable business. It's a business and it's a very profitable business here in Medellin. Scamming foreign guys, females scamming for foreign guys here in Colombia, in Medellin especially. And it's not just females. It's not just the females doing this. These are groups. These are what they call bandillas, right? Local gangs, gangs up in the neighborhoods that, or, this is organ, these are organized groups that are doing this. Sending out the females, finding the females and, and and when those females like trap those guys, they have one or two guys in the groups waiting for them to help them out if they need help. It's an organ organized effort. And because they saw that it was successful, because tourism is picking up and a lot of foreigners are coming here and with a lot of money and a lot of guys coming here because of those certain reasons and going up to, up to those kind of girls, they saw the success, they saw the easy money. So what happens? More people, more groups start copying and start implementing the same strategy, the same scam. Let's go back to Philip Mullins. He was a 32 year old Tennessee man found dead in a room at the upscale 1 million suites hotel in Medellin after a night out with a woman. Now, this particular man is the only Asian man on the roster. Tu Jir Shong, he was from Minnesota and his story went worldwide. He was beaten to death with a blunt object after he had been set up from a woman he had been dealing with for a long time. If you don't remember that story, here's a news clipping. Tonight, the family of a Minnesota man desperate for answers after they say he was kidnapped and killed while visiting Colombia. I'm out of words to describe. I just, I don't even know how, how I feel right now. 50-year-old Tu Zhang, an artist and activist, had been traveling in South America when he called his brother asking for money while on a date Sunday night. This time he was like, hey, do you have a couple of thousand? I was like, mm, yeah, no problem. And when do you want it? He said, I want it now. I'm in this, in this bit of a situation here. I go, oh, uh, yeah, I can do that. His family growing more fearful when Zhang stopped responding to texts. Woke up in the morning at 7 a.m. I text him back and say, hey, I thought you said you need money. You still want the money? Text me back if you still want the money. No answer. According to a local prosecutor, Zhang was kidnapped during a date and killed when he could not make the payment. His body later found in a wooded area covered in stab wounds. His family still searching for answers about how this shocking crime unfolded. I was confused. I, I to be honest with you, I don't know why, you know, what the motive is. Zhang had visited Colombia in the past, posting photos and videos to social media as recently as October with an unidentified woman. I'm with my girl. A refugee from Laos, Zhang and his family moved to St. Paul when he was a child. In recent years, he became a well-known comedian and community activist. Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar issuing a statement saying in part, quote, This is a heartbreaking tragedy. Tuzier was an incredible person who was constantly working to uplift his community. He truly believes in equity work and fighting for the underprivileged. And many times I always tease him. I say, you know, you're not getting paid. Why are you doing it? But is what motivate him. A tragic loss made even more confounding by the mystery that still shrouds his final moments. And he'll draw everybody in. That's the type of people he is. Four people, including a minor, were arrested and charged in Zhang's murder. November 13th, Texas resident Jeffrey Hudson was found dead in his hotel room with at least 20 stab wounds to his neck. He was killed after returning to his hotel suite with an 18 year old woman he met in a dating app in Medellin. And there are many other stories here, unfortunately today, that we will not cover because I believe now you get the hint. But the whole gist of all of it is this, black men, understand where you are. You might be disliked and hated in America for wanting what you desire. A woman who's feminine, a woman who gets it, 
in a woman who values you in a relationship. But you got to understand where you're going is also dangerous. Let me tell you a story. I was telling SPK, who, by the way, is editing this video today, that I was walking down the street about four days ago. It happened to be late. I was on the phone and a motorcycle driver drove past me. At least it's what I'm believing. Now, the roads in Uganda are quite narrow, and I'll tell you why. If we could post a picture of what the roads look like, you would see that a lot of the roads are so bad, they've fallen off. So, you know, you can't walk in the ditches. But what that does, it creates an opportunity for a motorcycle driver, we call them boda boda people here, to steal your phone. Now I was walking, I had my phone in my hand, and I felt like the guy didn't have enough room to take it. But when he came you know, uh, towards me, I just decided to maybe clench my phone a little tighter. And when I did, the guy tried to snatch it. Now let me just say this, the snatch from the guy was so strong, it almost broke my pinky. All right, now at first, I didn't feel it because I was enraged and I was telling the guy to come back and all of this. But the reality is, is that, hey, that guy could have got the phone. But it's not just that guy could have got the phone, right? Because even if he would have got it, I could always get a new phone. The issue is that probably was a person that was watching me and he knows me. I don't know who he is because in the community that I live in, he might have been seeing me go here or go there. I don't really move out so often. But hey, guys stalk you. Guys watch you. They know, hey, you're from America. And when times are hard, this is how they can get you. Now, this is different than the organized gangs that are dealing with ladies. But it just goes to show you that not everybody is happy to see a foreign or an American and it's hard to make friends when you go to different spots when you go to different places it's difficult and that's something that we got to really understand is that when you're someplace you're looking for people to show you love and give you parity but they might not do that they feel like well you're an American not even that you're black you're an American you got goods I don't have it so because you have it I should get it that's plain and simple and if we don't understand that that is what the case is going to be that's exactly what is going to continue to happen so guys need to understand that not everybody is glad to see you when you come to these places man not even the women not saying that you can't find women but hey a lot of folks are not happy that you are there and for them you very well may be a means to an end so guys what do you think it's your boy Shay duke jackson back at it again i really appreciate you for all that you do i'm out